Hello, hello, hello. Hope you guys are doing good. So we had a beautiful price action today. So I hope you guys can enjoy it. So let's get it started. So as you guys all know, we are in a four-hour chart. We break the structure to the upside, and this hour is doing low, and this is doing high. Now let's look at the daily as well. Daily, also we are approaching to this particular area. We might get there next week. So, all right. So let's go and what's popping. So that's what happened on four hour. And I gave the chart around here today. I came to chart around this area. So one just one thing to keep in mind is just if you guys know we had a like kind of break and retest thing. And I go one minute and see what's popping. So we had a oh like let me show you in 15 minutes as well, just to make sure everything is clear and stuff. So after 15 minutes we had a we had a little bit we had a little bit of um breakout inner breakout structure I would say or I would say chalk or whatever you want to call it yes so we had kind of chalk and breakout structure to the upside and I do my Fibonacci from the A and I do my Fibonacci from here A to the B yes now let me go to the one minute as well. So I was around here guys, okay, I was around here and I was thinking of, well, should I risk big or more? So I just risked some in here. So I bought some in here, but I just did a one lot. Just, can you guys imagine? I, I just did a one lot, which is so crazy. I could have done 10, you know what I'm trying to say? So I would just start getting some in here, not even that. I would just start getting around 40 pips, 50, it was like around some in here, 50 pips. But... In reality, I would be targeting somewhere here, A, to the B. I, I should be targeting somewhere here, which it hit. Can you guys imagine? Of course, it took hours and hours to hit it. took almost nine, of, almost four or five hours to hit it, but hit it, guys. So can you imagine that? So one thing I understand in today's um, YouTube videos, like, take risks. No matter what, take risks. And don't just take risks, but take... Um, good risks take appointed risks okay guys I, what i want to tell you is like take appointed risks take calculate risk not just take the risk because you're taking risk but take the calculate risk so that's what happened today as well so one thing i could have done is like and i was looking for the, some sort of sell here but if you guys pay attention the chalk didn't really happen i was waiting for the chalk to happen but that's not really chalk down to the chalk not chalk down so what I could have done is I could have just do break of structure to the upside. Am I right? So break of structure happened. Cool. Break of structure happened. Okay, price is going up, price is going up, price is going up. What I could wait and just buy here. You know what I'm trying to say? 25 pips stop loss and let the price go. Okay, you know what I'm even though price goes up comes up, it's absolutely fine. That's what I need to learn. So the one of the lessons learned was like no matter what, mark up your trade. So here as well. I could have done here as well. Like we had a kind of break of structure to the downside. Let me see on one minute. Yes, we had a break of structure on one minute. I could have done my Fibonacci A to the oh that's not Fibonacci. A to the B. And once I see that, I could boom again. Beautiful 25 pips stop loss, guys. Can you imagine that? If it hits it, boom. My trading strategy is like bomba. What I need to do is just, what I need to do is just risk, guys. Just risk, 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 risk. So here's the 9 third opens. Record structure. Ah, oh, let's say chalk to the downside. So I was doing my Fibonacci here, and I'm like, well. Whether it's gonna sell off or no, it's gonna sell off or no, it's gonna sell off or no. And I was looking exactly like this. I was looking exactly like this. And I'm like, and I go canvas as a boom. I don't sell. I was looking, I was looking at other things, I don't sell, but look, boom, 107 pips. 
So, okay, I don't enter, which is absolutely fine. What happens next? We had another beautiful breakfast structure to the downside. What I do, I take my Fibonacci from A to the B. Where that does the price came? Oof, look at that. Where does the price come? Media point six to what I do? Boom, 25p. Done. What I target? Look at that, guys. That's a awesome. Holy moly. Can you guys imagine that? Let me try to. Holy moly. It hit it so good. Can you guys imagine that? That could have been a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful treasure. After the break structure, what I got, I got another break structure. So what I do next, I do A to the B. So I could have sell something here as well now. Can you guys imagine the 25 pip stop loss targeting here? And just to make sure I go to the three means and look at the candlestick candlestick formations and the candlestick formation you guys can see is one, two, three rejections. One, two, three rejections. Even though not two hundred like you just give me two hundred pips. You see guys that could have been a beautiful trade as well. But I was trying like say okay we got a chalk here. I got a chalk there. I'm gonna sell or oh, I'm gonna buy and I was buying somewhere here. I was buying somewhere here with a 10 lot size, but I did I was buying somewhere here with a 10 lot size and I did a break even just boom just in a minute. So what I understand is just follow with the market and do what's doing and do what it's doing. You know what I'm trying to say guys. So let's see how this pops out. You know, it kind of did the break of structure I believe. It is what it is, losing out, place out. So today's lessons is like we're good learn lessons, guys. No matter what, you need to take a risk, risk, risk. So I was reading a very good book today. Very good book today. The Zurich, the Zurich Axioma. The Zurich Axioma is one of my favorite books. It's all about risk and reward. You never know. I mean, there's no one who gets rich by not risking. So all the people who get rich, they got risk. At, they need to risk at some point in their life. So it's teaching a lot. It's teaching a lot about risking and stuff. So inshallah, from today, I was just telling to myself, I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna risk. I'm letting the trades run away. And you must have your TP before you enter a trade. So before you enter and trade, know where you're gonna exit, guys. You know what I'm trying to say know where you're gonna exit i'm okay with adding positions but most of the thing is you need to know where you're gonna exit that's a, one of the most important things that i learned today more risk more reward no risk no reward tony rescuito champagne in book tony rescuito you see it were um chatting someone years ago so that's one of the lessons learned today risk more you never know how you're gonna end up i'm okay with adding positions but the better thing is you must know where you're gonna exit. You know what I'm trying to say? So let's say here. If I let's say if I enter this position, if I enter this position, I, I know exactly what I'm gonna exit. I would be exiting here or somewhere here. You know what I'm trying to say, guys? I would be exiting somewhere there. So you must know where you're gonna exit before you enter a trade. Know where you're gonna exit. So I'm okay with adding more positions, but whenever time you add positions, no matter what you add, no matter you add a position or no, know where you're gonna exit. That's one of the most important things, guys. If you don't know where you're gonna exit, what's the point of entering a trade? You know what I'm trying to say. So that's one of the lessons I learned today. And what else? I read new books, so if I could have risked that moment, risk, I could have passed my face. One, guys, risk, risk, risk. It applies, it respects your Fibonacci. Halas, Habibi. You know what I'm trying to say? Risk more, risk more, become a risk taker, guys. That's why the Switzerland banks are so rich. That's why the Switzerland people have nothing. To do no business, no oil, even the Hitler, the Putin didn't want to invade the country because they had nothing. All they had was a wood. You know what I'm trying to say? 
and cold weather, cold winter, but what they had was they were good at risking and they were good at managing their risks and you need to become that type of person. It's been a beautiful 10 minutes, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let's get it over with.